bursts out Selina with the early Stoke City corner. Oh, the flick on is dangerous, and Brown fires Stoke City into a second-minute lead. Jacob Brown, with all the space he would want there, defenders nowhere near him. The flick on from Wilmot was perfect, and so was the finish. Great start for the championship side. Sterling looks for the channel run and finds it. Tyrese Campbell, Selina! So close to a debut goal for the Kosovo international, Bursant Selina. Deflection was key there from Tomkinson and it kissed the bar on its way behind. Taylor with a good flick on and Reed might be in here and he is. It's Jamie Reed. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Remarkable. They've created so little by way of attack. The League Two side today waiting that one chance. And Jamie Reed pounces. Gets on the right side as far as he's concerned of Jagielka. Wilmot was getting back there. Looked like he would stop the ball getting in the back of the net, but he couldn't. Got his feet in a tangle, Ben Wilmot. Josh Laurent drives towards that Stevenage penalty area, takes it on, and how? Spectacular goal from Josh Laurent. Tay Ashby Hammond, who's been heroic in the Stevenage goal with absolutely no chance there. This is the perfect angle to see it. Doesn't get much better than this. Just can't get any momentum going forward now, Stephen H. Stoke in the mood to get a third. Here's Tymon trying to release Brown. Good challenge from Tomkinson. Oh, no! Referee David Webb has given a penalty. Stephen H. cannot believe it. Well, my first viewing of this is that Tomkinson gets a foot on the ball, and he did. There's no great appeal from Brown for a penalty, but the referee gave it. Lewis Baker drives the penalty beyond Ashby Hammond. And that will play Stoke City into round five. There's no way back from this. It's cruel on League Two Stevenage, but Stoke have been the better team on the day. They win 3-1.